Appreciate those rain chances. Thanks for that, Mia. Now, her child was taken from her, but that didn't stop Kimberly Rubio from fighting for change in her honor. And didn't stop her from finishing school, Magnum Culare, with a 3.8 GPA. It's achievement coming now six months since her daughter, Lexi, lost her life at Robb Elementary. Night Team's Lisa Cole spoke with the now St. Mary University's graduate as she walked across the stage and into a new chapter of her life. Kimberly Nicole Rubio is just moments away from receiving a Bachelor of Arts degree in history at St. Mary's University. She's filled with emotion. I'm proud of myself and I feel like Lexi would be proud of me. Thinking of her 10 year old daughter, Lexi Rubio, whose life was taken in the mass shooting at Robb Elementary. I think she would have asked to look around the campus because Lexi wanted to attend St. Mary's. Kimberly, just a semester away from graduating when the tragedy happened back in May, is using her strength and Lexi's memory as a source of power, not only to walk across the stage, but to advocate for an assault weapons ban. Magna cum laude, Kimberly Rubio, history. I don't think that the average citizen should have access to a weapon that ruins people's lives. As she navigates a new chapter of life, she acknowledges the pain it comes with her husband by her side every step of the way. I am very proud of you, of course. I know Lexi's looking down on you and she's happy. She's here and I love you. I love you too. She's determined to keep moving forward, honoring the memory of her daughter and all 21 victims of Robb Elementary. Our plans originally were to wait for me to graduate and then to leave Uvalde. Um, I wasn't fast enough. Um, now that we buried our daughter there, we'll stay with her. So we're readjusting and trying to figure out what's next. A week after the tragedy in Uvalde, St. Mary's University created the Lexi Rubio Memorial Law Scholarship Fund. Kimberly says Lexi wanted to be a lawyer and it was the perfect way for the university to honor her memory. Alyssa Cole, KSAT 12 News.